In this video, we're going to talk about the various findings that are used when making jewelry. The first finding we'll discuss is the ear wire finding, and this is the shepherd hook type or French style of ear wire. It's very common and most people are probably very familiar with it. Another uh, newer type of finding is called a lever back. Lever backs look like this. Uh, as you can see, they have a spring. They tend to be used in better quality earrings because they're guaranteed not to come off because of the lever back locking into place. So it makes these more permanent and a little bit better for that perspective, from that perspective. Another ear wire is the post type of ear wire. And with that post type of ear wire, we use a finding called uh, the ear clutch. So you can see that posts have a loop. This particular post has a loop and we could hang beads or an earring body or something like that from this post type of ear wire. So those are our ear wire findings. The next type of finding that we'll discuss here is our head pins. Head pins come in a variety of thicknesses and a variety of lengths. Head pins are like a straight pin that would be used in sewing. They have a head that is enlarged, just like the head of a pin, and that's large enough that it won't go through the hole on most beads. They're not sharp on the end, so that's where they're different from a regular straight pin. Uh, and we use head pins for making bead dangles uh, and connecting beads to a chain or a component similar to them. So those are head pins. The next thing we'll discuss is clasps. Uh, this particular clasp here is a lobster clasp. This is a specialty clasp. It's two magnets that are connected together. And so it's a magnetic clasp. This is another specialty clasp. It's a filigree clasp. Uh, and it comes apart into two pieces. Uh, this is a clasp called a toggle clasp. And this is another clasp called a spring ring clasp. So those several different types of clasps as jewelry findings. And another finding that we'll talk about briefly here is chain. Chain is a finding. Uh, we use chain uh, both for making bracelets, for making necklaces, uh, but we also use chain for making some chandelier earring designs. So you can use chain in many different ways. When you order chain, you need to make sure that you understand whether the chain is going to have a clasp on the end or not. Uh, you can purchase it both ways. Obviously, if it has a clasp on the end, you need to make sure the clasp is going to be the right size to get through whatever you need it to get through in order to make your necklace. And that's chain as a jewelry finding. The next finding we'll discuss is a finding called jump rings. Jump rings are little rings of wire. They can be open like these or they can be soldered closed. Jump rings allow us to connect two wire components one to another. And all we do is bend them up like that to open them, connect the two components onto that loop, and then bend them close like that. And we have used, we've used a jump ring to connect two different components. So a jump ring, one way you can use a jump ring is connect an earring body to an ear wire. And again, jump rings can be bought soldered closed, and then they have somewhat of a different application. This is a finding called a split ring. And a split ring is a ring, solid ring, about two and a half, one and a half times around a wire. And it's like the ring on, a, on your keychain. And you can see that you use it to connect two components like you would with an open jump ring. But because the wire goes all the way around, it's a little more permanent connection than just an open jump ring as a connection. So it's one way you could connect a clasp to a chain or any other two components like that. So that's a split ring finding. The next finding we'll discuss is findings called a figure eight connector. Figure eight connector is two open loops. It's like two jump rings back to back. And uh, so it's a way that you can connect components to make a chain. You can use the figure eight connector to connect an earring body to an ear wire. Uh, it's used to connect two jewelry components one to another. And these are open figure eights. You can also purchase a figure eight connector that's soldered closed uh, if, if you want that. And the last connector that we'll talk about is a modified figure eight connector. And this one's very small. But what this does is it, it's, it does not change the orientation of the two components that you're connecting. 
So uh, the regular figure eight connector changes the orientation. This does not change the orientation. It allows you to connect two components. And what it is is one loop at 90 degrees to another loop. And so that's our modified figure eight connector. And those are the jewelry making findings that we're gonna discuss in this video. Thank you.